Want the best sound in your vehicle? You're going to need an aftermarket amplifier, but maybe you're new to this, so Car Audio Amplifiers Connections Edition. In a 12 volt vehicle, you first have your positive connection that typically connects at the positive terminal of the battery, and then your ground connection, and a common mistake here is using a large wire for only the positive. That's wrong, you need the proper wire size for both the power and ground. While those connections allow for the amp to be powered, they are a constant connection, so we need a way to tell the amplifier when to be on and off, and we do that with the remote connection. When a voltage is detected here, the amplifier knows to turn on. Now we need to get signal into this amplifier to amplify and that's done with the inputs. These can be high level which means you get a speaker level signal often from a factory source or if you have an aftermarket source you can connect to these RCA line level style connections. Amplifiers commonly have a control port. Usually this is for controlling a subwoofer level independently from the overall volume level. This way you can dial in the bass that you want. Finally we need to send that amplified signal out to the speakers and we do that with the speaker outputs. Now do keep in mind sometimes outputs can be bridged to provide more power if needed. There is a lot more to discuss here though so to get a crash course on amplifier basics be sure to check out this long form video right here over on my YouTube channel Car Audio Fabrication.